see what this blue gleam is worth. Party little plant. You'll help. No sign of them yet. Guess I'll just sit and wait. I was starting to worry about you three. Everything all right? We took our time. After our last conversation, we had a lot to think about. I can imagine. Just one more hunt, then your debt is paid and you three can make your way south. Ready? Huntress, the sunshine snowshoes await your signal. <laughs> <laughs> Horrible. I'm almost impressed, Dulamok. Didn't think you could come up with a name worse than burning turkeys. Well, I liked it. Let's hunt.
doing fine, I guess. Come here, anyway. Let's have a proper goodbye, huh? There. That's the last of Bergren's parts. Looks like you three are out of debt. For now. Until Orkai breaks something else. It was one time! You make a nice shaman, eh, boy? Thanks for lending a hand. Maybe we'll meet you in the Sundom sometime. Once you get to the Sundom, what then? What's the next step? We hunt like Nikoni wanted to hunt. Nikoni had big dreams. A werak in which everyone pulls their weight and takes care of each other. No shamans, no chieftains, no need to pry the power out of anybody's hands. Sounds like a lot of work. Mm, but worth it, I think. In a fitting tribute to Nikoni. We can become the werak she always wished for. You won't have me to strip your kills now. Are you three gonna be all right? Eh, doesn't look that hard, really. We'll be fine. Great. He washes three successful harvests and he's suddenly a shaman. When you get to Song's Edge, talk to Burgrind. If he can't teach you himself, he'll know someone who can. Sure. And I bet he charges us for the introduction. Uh, thank you, Aloy. I'm sure we'll figure it out. I guess this is goodbye. How does it feel? Putting the new glands behind you. The only thing I would have missed is already gone. Let all those rotten Bonor suck-ups freeze to death. It's a little much, Urkai, don't you think? That's strange. What is it to be Banuk after Banur forsakes you? How do we decide who we are? How about you, Aloy? Who do you think we are? What will you remember of us? You lost someone you care about. That leaves a wound. The sort of wound a lot of people don't recover from. Yeah. I've got nothing but scars to show for it. That's the point. Only survivor scar. After everything you've been through, you keep going. We're the Scars of the North. Scars of the North. Sounds pretty tough, doesn't it? Thank you, Aloy. It's a good name. One we'll honor.
follows. I hope you're holding up all right. Keep your spear sharp. Bergrind, how'd your investment pay out? Quite handsomely, thanks very much. You know those three crazy Banuka calling themselves the Scars of the North now? <laughs> well, now that I have those parts, I can pay off a debt of my own. So they've gone south then? Aye, that they have. I've got a friend in the Sundom by the name of Otur. He owes me a favor. Old Otur is a machine scavenger, a pretty competent one. So I sent them to learn from the best. Or at least from the pretty competent. Well, we work with the resources we have. Speaking of which, here, a token of my gratitude. The Osiram, with their ridiculous ideas about women, how many great warriors have they ignored? Maybe I can trade this blue gleam. In a tut. As we are bound by laws, you are bound by wire. Yet your crime was the act of killing. So we must drive you out. Away from the Werek. From protection. From our songs. My chieftain. Coppola! Am I not your favorite fighter? Do you not recognize me from this tooth you knocked out? How many times have I pulled you from danger by your neck? Made excuses for your behavior? You are my favorite! But the shaman is decided. While you wait for exile, think on what brought you here. A test of strength! Who among us would refuse a challenge from an outlander? Not I! But I did not kill him! Hush, hush. You can tell your story to the ice. <laughs> Uh. Uh. 
You took Artok's mantle. It's mine now. I would like to see that fight. They said that you killed someone. Perhaps I did. Even my chieftain accepts that it must be so. That's not the way it works for me. Want to tell me your story? I did fight with the Karja Hunter to settle a challenge. That much is true. He was strong and damn quick. We traded punches. Good punches. Hard punches. And the next thing I remember... Gray morning light and the Karja beside me with his head broken open. But the blow was not by my hand. So everyone knows you started the fight with this man? Of course. For honor, I'll fight anyone. If, if I wasn't bound, I'd fight to prove myself right now! I don't think that would help you. This is what I am. Each runner in the Warwick has a gift. I brawl. None can take a punch, a fall better than I can. Until this time, I was too drunk. We were grappling. He clapped my ears. I took one last swing as I went down, but... Not a killing blow. It can't have been. Isn't your Werak supposed to support you? At least give you the benefit of the doubt? When our Werak had cause to quarrel, I was a solution. To fight for its honor and win, they'd call on me. Or, when they needed someone to lose for appearances, I could do that too. Now when Outlander is murdered without honor, all eyes are on me. I have become my wear at shame. They don't want an instant with the Karja, so you take the fall. That is what I do best. And for your punishment, they'll exile you from the Warwick? From warmth. March me up the slopes of the Cloud Shear, leave me stripped and exposed. That's awful. If I survive, the land has absolved me. That's the law. It must be accepted. It's still awful. I'm not stupid. I don't like my chances either. I can't fight a mountain. I'll be honest. You haven't got a good defense in Itut. I've heard that one before. Where did the fight happen? A clearing, just outside the Karja Outlanders camp. You should talk to them. They wouldn't hear me out. They say no one else could have been there other than me and the dead man. The shaman consulted the signs in the snow and agreed. I'll see what I can find out, and I'll be back. I'll be here. What else am I gonna do, until the horn gives a call from my exile? Huntress, what business do you have with us? I was asked to look into the murder of a Karja hunter. What happened? It's plain as day. A drunk Banuk thug picked a fight with Ruas, struck him down from behind and stole his headdress. The accused man says that he didn't do it. You're not going to get anything useful out of the Banuk, whether they talk to you or don't. They gather up like cloaks in a chill wind every time a hunter dies out here. Won't even hand Ruas's killer over for a proper trial. A proper trial. To fill his mouth with salt, and hold him up for the sun to consider over days. If it is clement, it may only take his sight, or his wits. So other Karja hunters have died in these lands before? Three, maybe four in the last few seasons. That's no surprise. This place punishes even the prepared. 
and many young nobles don't prepare. But usually the snow covers everything, and the bodies are never found. No thanks to the Banuk. Do you think they're involved? No. If it's not about their tribe, they don't want to get involved. In these outlands, even the sun cannot thaw all it touches. Doesn't sound like you trust the Banuk much. They're not without their reasons to keep apart from us. Ten years of reasons. Oh, it's the war. The war is over. We made amends, but no. The land never forgets. Snow and ice keep memory, they say. It takes time for scars to heal. You think I don't know that? I still bear the lashes for refusing one of the Mad King's sun priests. I was your age then. Uh, times of shadow. Times of shadow. Where did you find Ruas's body? There's no hunt, girl. Nothing to pick up. Humor me. I'm a good tracker. Down the rise to the west, there's a clearing. But a grazer herd couldn't have trampled it better. And if that barbarian gives up Ruas's headdress before they cast him out, let me know. It's valuable. been disturbed a lot, like the hunter said. Now well, here's something. Lots of leaves and bark scraped off here. When someone pulled out the branch? No. From climbing it. They came through the trees. Good view of the Karja camp and the clearing. That's coming with me. Well, this is ominous. A dead end? Can't be. Your armor. 
This looks bad. here not Banuk then she won't be missed what's that And for what? Revenge for the war? Who gets to declare that one tribe no longer hates another? I'll tell you. Not the ones who fought. Not the ones whose songs are silenced. Like my kin. For what you did, another Banuk has been sentenced to certain death. What about his song? Oh, that's why you followed us. For that punch drunk idiot in a toot. Fate is sharp today. They've already let him out to face his exile. Let's see who the cold claims first. I need to go after Inatut. But I should find some more evidence first. Trophies. Newer than the rest. Must have belonged so it was a Karja soldiers. Not that it's any excuse. Did they keep any clothes from their victims? This Karja gear's not warm, but if Inatut's naked on a snowfield, he'll take what he gets. Okay, time to get moving.
I thought I'll keep my stomach quiet. You'd take someone if you wanted to lose them forever. I'm not getting up that frozen waterfall. Maybe along the sides. Frozen solid. Mixed feelings about that. In a tit? In a tit! Maybe he found shelter? I hope he found shelter. Behind the rock. Nora girl? Is it really you, or has the boom shell got through my skull? I found the real killers. No one else has to die because of this. Take these. A dead cautious clause. Haven't I been beaten down enough? But I won't argue. Where I thought I'd saw my ancestors. They said you'd surprise you ended up here. <laughs> Better hurry. <sighs> Machines.
Now that was a fight. Your trial's over. It was other Banuk who killed that man. Killed him because he was Karja. You know why I took the first swing at him? He challenged the honor of the Banuk. The honor. That's what I thought. Come on. Let's get you back. Once I'm off the mountain, I'll find my own way. I need to think. Is that something I'm used to? Who knows what could happen? I'll see you in town then. You'd better make it, all right? I give my pledge. So by the new law, if Inatut survives, he's forgiven. I want to prove to his chieftain that he wasn't guilty in the first place. Finish her painting. It's been ages. So you cleared the bandits. Inita told there. you the truth. This is the headdress stolen from the murdered man. You'll find more in a ravine north and west of here, along with the bodies of the killers. The exile still served its purpose. He was guilty of our suspicion. Fate has fallen like snow, and should Inita return, he will be absolved. You can't be serious. He speaks for the Werek, my Nora friend. You look ridiculous. If you would return to my Werek, you will behave as a Banuk does. How does a Banuk behave, my chieftain? Like I did? Accepting a sentence for a crime he did not commit. Or those others who killed in cold blood for crimes that their carge of victims did not. I think what I wear will not make me more or less of a Banuk. For his own sake, it would be wise for him to think less, Nora friend. I'll talk to him, but not for you. She won't come down until her cave is finished. I defied my chieftain's will, spurned my Warwick. How are you feeling? As if I'd been pounded the guts. I could just keep walking, but when my anger has thawed, it will leave me with nothing. Where else would I go? You can decide for yourself what it means to be a Banuk. It might not be what the Chieftain and the Shaman tell you. Whether you stay with this Warak or find another... I'm better with decisions like... Do I start with the left? Or the right? There's more to you than your fists, Inatut. That's why I believed you. It was my Chieftain who taught me honesty. He said... A Banuk should not be treacherous when the ice is treacherous enough. I'll sit with my bruises for a time, then talk with her again. As for you, Nora girl, will you accept this gift? A, a little scrawny weight against the great boon you gave me, but... I'm honored. Thank you, Inatut.
The tall neck walks free. A testament to survival. And the power of the blue light. It's beautiful, Sakuli. It is. But you could see a hundred like it in Banur. The sacred patterns that describe the world. Machine song, the blue light, the way of the Banuk. Blah, blah, blah. Where we take it next, that's where it comes alive. Good, good. These can go dark as bruises, or bright as indignation. I call them the faces of the elders. Maybe it's a machine rider who looks like you. <laughs> Where is she going? You tell me. To ruins or mountains, through flood or thaw, past, future, destiny. But I don't think she's scared of any of it. You helped me, inspired me, and the people of the cut. Let this be inspiration for you, wherever you may run.
Oh, <laughs> oh,